Thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Um, hi, everybody. As mentioned, my name is Emma Cooper. I started my business on the 10th of December 2013, so I'm only just into my 15th month of um, my forever journey. <sighs> my background before forever was that I was a full-time police officer in the UK. I worked for Greater Manchester Police, as did my husband, Sean. I can't say I hated my job in the beginning because I really didn't, I loved it. And I think it's testament to my work ethic, which I've carried over into forever, that I used to work every single day off that I could. I would go into work. Um, I worked on a drug squad and my husband worked on the tactical aid unit, which is a bit like a riot squad, I guess. So we didn't spend much time together because our shifts very often didn't overlap. Um, before the police, I had suffered quite badly with anxiety and also um, bouts of depression. So um, getting into the police was really substantial for me um, and it did my confidence a world of good. Um, I got assaulted quite badly a couple of times uh, during my police career and it made the anxiety and the depression come back. And I really struggled for a while. Um, at times, the anxiety was pretty bad. I didn't leave the house for about 18 months without wearing jogging bottoms, Ugg boots, if you know what they are, <laughs> and um, a cap, because I was too scared for people to look at my face. I was really embarrassed. Um, and I had very, very little self-esteem. Two female officers were also shot and killed on duty on the next division to me. And it really made me question about the career I wanted to do long term because I was petrified going to work and seeing my husband go to work. Um, also, Sean and I got married and we found out the following day that I was pregnant with our first son, William, which... Uh, for any mums, you know, that changes everything. So I found my why before I found forever. I had actually been offered the opportunity to have a look at forever three and a half years before I actually did. Um, but it wasn't the right time then. I guess I was okay with just being okay. The right time came when I was 30 weeks pregnant, scrubbing... Um, skirting boards in my bedroom <laughs> and looking at my son's nursery awaiting his arrival and I just started crying because I thought this can't be it um, why have I got myself pregnant and all settled in Manchester which was three and a half hours away from my parents um, when it really I didn't feel um, secure enough, I guess. I wasn't happy in my job, and I just felt like I'd done it a bit too soon. Um, but I felt trapped in the police because I don't have any other qualifications. I only um, left high school with six GCSEs, so I didn't really think I could do anything else other than be a police officer. So I got started on my business on the 14th of December, and it's funny what Dan was just saying about um, your first sponsor and your first orders. Because as I was um, signing up to Forever, um, I text my very best friend, Lisa Prescott, and I text her and said, get your skinny butt to my house tomorrow, bring 200 pounds, I found our ticket out of the police. I was that certain of what Forever could do for us, for us both. She was my best friend, and she was 31 weeks pregnant. So she said, yep, yeah, whatever it is, I'm in. Let's do it. I'll see you tomorrow. I stayed up all night, all through the night, watching the business presentation that it had been recorded by my upline, learning it. I watched it over and over and over and over again, and I went to work the next day with no sleep, and I met her that night, and she joined my team. 
Little did I realize the power of doing the all-nighter, learning this business, the power that that would have on my business. Because from the second I joined, I was so excited. Because it seems cliche, but I genuinely was just looking for about 500 pounds a month to allow me to stay off on maternity with my son when he was born. But staying up that night and learning that business presentation made me realize that everything forever had to offer. And I was not just going to settle for 500 pounds a month when in front of me was the most generous company I had ever seen. And I wanted to help all my friends make some drastic changes too. So thank you, Rex. <laughs> I had one problem. My husband was a caveman. <laughs> he said, you can do it because I've researched the company. It seems fantastic. But he beat his chest a bit and did what cavemen do and said, but I'm telling you, we can't afford the 200 pounds. We had to pay 20 pounds off the credit card to put the full 200 pounds on. We were pretty short of cash. And he said to me, look, um, all I ask is that you make back the 200 pounds for the pack because we really can't afford it. And I said, yeah, I totally understand. But in my head, I was saying, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll come to that bit later, how much I showed him. <laughs> so I got started. Remember, I could explain the business really well. I was super, super excited about how generous this company was. And I wanted to tell everybody about it. So in December, the first two weeks of starting, I ended on 25.426 case credits, and I earned my money back for the pack. <laughs> £324.29 was my bonus. Now remember, my, my first thing was to earn £500. I'd been doing it two weeks, so I'd already done that in my head. So then it was on to the bigger things. I didn't stop, I kept my head down, I worked every waking second of every single day. I was up through the night checking my case credits because they used to update at random times through the night, they don't now, it's half past seven in the morning, around 7.34 UK time. <laughs> um, and so in January, that momentum really kicked in and we did 101.879 case credits. So we had a bonus of 1,521 pounds and 31 pence. Now, for some people, that may not seem like a lot of money, but my police wage was 1,600 pounds a month. So in six weeks with Forever, I'd actually earned more than my police wage, which just seemed insane to me. And it still does. Lisa Prescott, you heard me just mention her, my very best friend who was 31 weeks pregnant when she started the day after me. Um, in uh, January, Lisa became a manager. So my very first team member became my very first manager. Super, super special when it's your best friend. Um, and I'll tell you a little story about Lisa. Lisa qualified at just under 3,000 case credits this year also in her first year of business. <laughs> but to do things like this with friends is way more special, I think. Because Lisa and I were both police officers. Our husbands were both police officers. She was 31 weeks pregnant. I was 30 weeks pregnant. We did everything together. Not everything, they have different fathers. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, we were in the same boat, so we were looking for the same kind of stuff. So we used our excitement, our knowledge of how generous the company was, although she did ask me what case credits were for like six weeks. In the end, I refused to answer. <laughs> um, yeah, so Lise became a manager. She's also qualified for chairman's bonus, so she's doing some fantastic things. I remember sat at my kitchen table a few, maybe six weeks before we joined Forever, and Lisa and I were working out if we both saved £3.50 a week for the entire time we were on maternity, we could buy her husband a birthday cake. <laughs> 
for Lisa's husband's birthday, she paid for him to go to Las Vegas. She jetted him off there. She bought him a brand new designer wardrobe. <laughs> Lots of trainers, he loves those. She um, gave him a massive party with the biggest cake you can possibly imagine. So it's times like that and things like that that Forever has done for us that have really, really um, changed our lives. So in February, we ended on 163.723 case credits. Our bonus was £3,016.17. pence. A massive one for me. I was in labour at the time when I opened the recap. I think that sped things up because that was almost double my police wage. <laughs> I can't look at that one. So then in March, my why arrived. I spent the whole of my nine months pregnant wishing it was just over. When I started forever, I spent 10 weeks wishing just to keep it in a bit longer because I had a bit more work to do. <laughs> so luckily, he was five days over, but he arrived. I made no excuses. I made William my reason why and not my excuse not to do things. I was doing planning meetings from my iPad while I was in labor. <laughs> um, I had a C-section, so I was traveling up and down the country um, four days after I had the section, doing product launches, doing first steps to manager. I made absolutely no excuses. And in March, I remember taking William home from the hospital and saying to Sean, while William was sat in his chair in the living room, you know, Sean, you think, or they think I've done well so far, but they have not seen anything yet. This is it. So I made a conscious decision in March only to sponsor two people um, because I wouldn't be able to give them as much time, but I also made a conscious decision to work deeper with my team. So to treat every single person within my team like I sponsored them myself. Because like has been mentioned about the fire, I feel that it's sometimes not your team member's fault that their sponsor doesn't have the same fire in their belly for forever that you do. So don't let them go amiss. You need to work deep down to find those diamonds. And I'll explain shortly why this has been absolutely pinnacle uh, in my journey so far. So I worked deep within my team in March. I ended on 179.563 case credits, so a little bit of growth on the previous month, but my bonus went to 4,337 pounds and 90 pence. Then in April, I hit the senior manager position, so my second manager came through. I ended on 326.790 case credits, and my wage was 6,000, my bonus was 6,457 pounds and 18 pence. This was a massive point for me because my husband, the caveman, agreed that I could resign from the police. <laughs> so I resigned from Greater Manchester Police. And I said to Sean this month, so how much would I have to earn for you to leave the police? And he said, oh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Maybe double figures. I'm like, oh. So I thought, okay, I better work a bit harder then. So in May, <laughs> so in May, the result of the work that I put in in March, the momentum, the six to eight week lead up time we talk about hit in May. So I ended on 578.802 case credits, almost doubling from the month before. And we hit double figures. So we got 10,935 pounds and 60 pence from the UK. So Sean went on a career break. Um, and we were able to be a family. We travel everywhere together which was time that we have together that we never would have had if we had not found forever. <clears throat> in July, um, again, a massive effect from working deep within my team. The uh, manager, my second manager, um, a girl called Kate, my friend Kate, after the month that she went manager, 
um, I had worked within her team. She only sponsored four people directly and got to the manager position, just four people. But I treated those four sponsors like I sponsored them myself. And within those four managers, I found quite a few diamonds. So the person, when Kate resigned in her first month of manager, Kate resigned, she decided the business wasn't for her, which was fine. I picked up with her team even more so. So I still had two managers because Kate had a manager come through the month after her. So I was still a senior manager. My fifth manager was one of Kate's four. So that's two out of the four that have gone manager. So the fifth person, my fifth manager, wasn't someone that I sponsored myself, but by helping everybody and working deep within my team, Ginny Kingham made me a soaring manager. Then in August, <laughs> 675, you can see it. Um, <laughs> So over 14 and a half thousand in our bonus recap. And now it just gets like monopoly money. <laughs> so this was our first year in business. So our total volume was 5,455 case credits. New business, which I didn't really know what that was, if I'm honest. Um, until they told me to check it at the end of the year. Um, and when I asked, I think I asked Natalie if it was good, she said, well, you only need 150 new business for incentives. So, yeah, it's pretty good. So I was like, brilliant. And that saw me have the number one top open business in the UK. <clears throat> Chairman's bonus level one plus one. Thank you. At that time, at the end of our first year, I had seven frontline managers, but 22 within our whole team. We had a downline of just over 1,600 people. That's almost doubled now. <laughs> we turned over 1.72 million, <laughs> which seems crazy. And when Sean asked for his 200 pounds back, <laughs> I could not have expected <laughs> from that £199.75 kit to have given him back over £123,000 in UK bonus recaps. <laughs> so when people say, I can't afford the box, I say, you can't not afford the box. <laughs> so in March, uh, so last month, um, February we had our eighth manager and then March our ninth manager. Remember I said about working deep within your team? Out of Kate's four front line, I have an amazing retailer, but I have three managers. And the ninth person who made me a Sapphire manager was one of those four that she sponsored. So those people who made me senior, soaring, and Sapphire, I didn't even sponsor them myself. But I worked so deep within my team that I never missed a little diamond in there because they all deserve to see what a fantastically generous company this is that can really really have life-changing results if you're working with the right people. So, that leaves us to last month where we <laughs> did 944.182 case credits and our, our bonus recap was 25,000. 25,529 pounds and 16 pence, which is just <laughs> So over a 10 and a half thousand pound pay rise in a month. That's the kind of company that you're dealing with. <laughs> Thanks.
<laughs> but those are just figures, and it does seem like monopoly money, doesn't it? But it's what you can do with those figures that is the most uh, incredible thing with this company. So how it's changed our lives personally, um, within the first seven months of our business, we hit all the incentives Forever had to offer. And so you need to keep your focus on what you're doing it for. And for me, it's all about my family. It's not about the recognition, I must admit, although it's wonderful that this company gives you that. It really is just about my boys and my family. So the new cars are fantastic. I wouldn't turn them down. Sean getting his caravan uh, was a massive point <laughs> of this year so far. Um, but it's more than that for us. My parents have been an amazing support for us my whole life. It's not a rags to riches story with them. My dad had, has a really successful business, and so we've never gone without. We've lived in beautiful homes and gone on beautiful holidays. But the biggest thing my dad gave me was, showed me the meaning of the word work ethic. That guy grafted for us kids. So, sorry. So, let's get it going. <laughs> Um, and my mum showed us the meaning of belief. She told us that we could do whatever it was that we wanted to do. She always told us that. And what they taught me, I'm going to teach William. And with the help of forever, I think I've started off well into motherhood for teaching him that. So what this means now going forward, that kind of, chairman's, uh, that kind of bonus recap... Chairman's bonus on the brain. <laughs> um, it means that I get to pay my parents a pension every month. They will have the best retirement, I promise. <laughs> not many people know, not many people know, but my parents gave us £120,000 to put down as a deposit on our home because we were moving back from Manchester to Wales. We only had one pe um, police pension. We wouldn't have got a mortgage. They gave us £120,000 with no questions of how they were getting it back. There's the belief. I will pay them back every single penny, starting when I get that chairman's bonus check. They don't know it yet, but that will be handed straight to them. I've paid for them to come on this trip. So they're here to collect their check. <laughs> um, and I just want to ensure that they have the best life and they enjoy it. Not just that, but William will get the best education. But more than that, he gets me and Sean and he gets to be part of this whole forever family, which for me, for my son to grow up in this environment in amongst you people, Thanks to Rex and Aidan and all you guys. Thank you so much, because I will be forever indebted to you all. Thank you.